Welcome to Yelm Internet Church, September 20, 2024, Episode 8. Consciously evolving human mind is synergetic. Awareness of humanity's metaphysical propensity identifies it as synergetic mind. Metaphysical intellect, synergetic mind, distinguishes physical universe as temporal from metaphysical universe as eternal. Metaphysical syntropy Typically imports, countering the physical universe is exporting. Physical universe is increasingly expanding and seems as relevant to systemic thoughts, generalized concepts as the complementarity of macrocosmic universe when wondering about the entire cosmos, which is said to be continually expanding. But when and where is contraction occurring? The always and only coexisting complementarities, contraction and expansion, converging and diverging consciously involves the synergetic mind's awareness of metaphysical universe and omnirationally induces a conceptuality of the prime structural systems generalized conceptioning fields of thought or relatively to awareness of syntropically importing and entropically exporting functions. Many integratively relevant conceptualities that humans are imperviously unaware of and or educated by institutions that have no informed knowledge of what Arbert Minster Fuller lists under complementarities always and only coexisting in his Synergetics Dictionary, The Mind of Arbert Minster Fuller. Logically, it is for the research writers further explorations in the geometry of thinking. Initially, the writing hands programmed referential anticipatory Reality basis has absolutely no informed knowledge of the always and only coexisting complementarities. The research written compositions seem always to involve self and the other's local problem solving curiosities and proclivities based in the PRJWBCHM. Politics, religion, justice, war, belief, complex, hierarchical matrix without awareness of these complementarities. Nevertheless, synergetic mind's anticipatory faculty of thought tends to persistently compare one side and another side and inclined to take sides. If so, Probably it is the side that is most conducive to self-survival integrally to what the writer's deepest protected intuition feels closely akin, respecting truth versus falsities while sorting out the depth of an essential integral correlation to the very design of its own imagination's concern for species survival. This happens, albeit, in varying depths of evaluation and a logical sense of economics, the time invested, time spent, the overall personalized cost of it, naturally. Personalized costs are regarding time-energy-related conservation. In its simplest connotation, this means not wasting valuable time, physical, emotional, mental energy, which of course becomes a huge problem with those who cannot fathom any ingrained sense of what is superficially referred to as tribal survival, especially when PRJ assumptions 
are considered more valuable to the dominant personality's position to make and expect their demands to be met accordingly. So, with respect to the migration trends around planet Earth that involve such deeply rooted survival concerns, the enormity of the problem, which is also a potential solution, must not be discounted when expecting anything in agreement. With evolved intuitions, newly acquired awareness of the complementarity, distribute, and inhibit, correlating to its economical intelligence. Economical intelligence involves consciousness evolution's acquired knowledge of equi-economical, geodesic, least effort, minimum effort, most economical, and omni-economic. Conscious knowledge of essential integration that discreetly controls the coordination of all complex interactions involves familiarity with many coexisting complementarities. Some that I list here from Arbut Minster Fuller Synergetics Dictionary that I foresee becoming increasingly more relevant considering the human behavior that is now acting out on the world stage. This is a list for the research writers developing considerations as my own self-analytic writing hand is also developing more clarity, albeit minutely compared with the enormity of the widely spreading, reenacting P R J W problems activity and inactivity, acceleration and deceleration, annihilation and conservation, energetics and synergetics, entropy and syntropy, Entropy and anti-entropy. Entropy and information. Environment, in parentheses, non-self and self. Eternal conceptuality and temporal experience. Eternal integrity and experience. Eternal slowdown and acceleration, absolute velocity, expansion and contraction, explicable and inexplicable, exporting and importing, focal push, pulling and omnidirectional generalization and specialization, geodesics and irrelevance. When recalling, the tetrahedron is the only system in universe that turns itself inside out. I wonder how the conceptuality relates to awareness from Arbut Minster Fuller's writing that humans oscillate between our metaphysical propensities and physical incarnations. Is knowledge of an oscillating mechanism between physical brain and metaphysical mind relevant to our humanity's cosmic to local problem solving? As a type of reenacting pre-programming that intellect depends on while preoccupied by the predominant communicating news media, the entertaining media, the various manifest forms of disseminated information. Humans vacillate between trust and distrust, more and less doubt. Periodic rejuvenated certainty, albeit 
These fleetingly concerned considerations are mostly subconsciously experienced in the course of a day, a week, a month. Nonetheless, all of these considerations are a type of survival. Managing to get through experiences in the human condition. The human condition is a type of recycling environment where histories of trial and error experiences individually play out. It is where authoritarian values impose its incarnations, its particular form, its particular state, the political, religion, justice, PRJ personality products, as versions that righteously defends the precedence. Defending the incarnated precedence requires a referential resource. Typically, the resource is a book of knowledge from the outset of the physical incarnation that over centuries omits by default programming, identifying synergetic mind and the conceptuality of the oscillation between our metaphysical propensities and physical incarnations. In that particular definitive clarification, history's adamant Interpretation habitually assigns nomenclature to its prevailing belief, which is always a second-hand experience, never the synergetic mind's metaphysical generalized conceptioning. This is because the referential geodesics are subconsciously supplanted by irrelevance in an educated ignorance of universe's minimum thinkable set as a conceptuality of physical universe's minimum structural system. It is characterized by entropy. Entropy is expansive. Entropy is expansive. Increasingly the unaccounted randomness our individual educated ignorance of the always and only coexisting complementarities, entropy and syntropy, energy and synergy, exporting and importing, expanding and contracting, metaphysical and physical, may clarify the order underlying randomness, which is essential when completing a developing conceptuality of anticipatory reality. Informed awareness of these complementarities that Arbert Minster Fuller's physics has found initially seems too remote, not local enough to possibly offset the rampantly reenacting radical articulations, but that too is attributable to ignorantly educated misalignment of the predominant unbalanced human condition. If humans oscillate between our metaphysical propensities and physical incarnations, this conceptual predicament requires the most accurate definition of the words oscillate, incarnation, metaphysical and physical to also include awareness of circumferential oscillation and inward and outward pulsation. Oscillate is to swing back and forth between two points, which is the most generalized systemic definition, whereas an oscillation between opposing beliefs Feelings, theories of varying above or below a mean, M-E-A-N, value typically omit the minimum structural systems, integral freedoms, one of which is inside outing. The tetrahedron is the only system in the universe that turns itself inside out and can be conceptualized 
as one vertex is plunged passage through the center of volume out through the opposite triangular opening extending to an imaginable length of the vector a distance correlating to the stretchable degree before returning to the vertexial position it can be four vertexes alternating in out back and forth imaginably the oscillation can push one vertex all the way outside the opposite triangular opening pulling the other three vertexes and vectors all of which is the same length isotropic turning the system inside out exposing its inside to the outside omni surrounding environment that can be tightly filled with inside out in tetrahedron energetic units in the synergetic intertransforming interaccommodating metaphysical physical universe generalized fields until deciding to comprehend and communicate self to others that which imagination can conceptualize once in form of Arbut Mr. Fuller's discoveries, which requires a reliable collegiate dictionary and the synergetics two volumes of models, illustrations, detailed explanation, the human observer of the reenacting articulations unwittingly delays consciousness evolution's recognized awareness of its synergetic mind's metaphysical intellect as a function of omnirational universe. This results in remaining overlong in the PRJWBCHM and its adamant exploitations in the value of doing harm, profiting by the authorities that perpetually operate at our humanity's expense. Until next time, thank you from Christina, Universe Citizen.